taking a look at how to reduce noise in really challenging areas. As you know, the Ship Canal is a double-decker structure, which we don't have a whole lot of those here in Washington State. And so trying to look at ways to reduce noise in that type of situation is a real challenge. So what we're going to be doing is installing the ceiling panels above the express lanes. And our noise models show that those panels will help reduce some of the reflected noise. And what I mean by reflected is that since the traffic on the express lanes is traveling below a ceiling, that noise then bounces off of the ceiling and goes into the neighborhoods. The noise is a problem. It's a quality of life issue. It affects your ability to be in your backyard. Uh, it affects your ability to enjoy um, our neighborhoods. The reflected noise seems to dominate in this area. I didn't really expect it to be the dominant source of noise in this neighborhood. But uh, according to what our measurements and our models and, and just what you hear when you're on the ground, it clearly is the dominant, the, the, the most, where, where most of the noise is coming from. Typically what we do is we would put up a, a concrete noise barrier either close to the source or close to the receiver, close to the home. But in this case, it's, it's difficult to, to mitigate that, to block the noise, block the reflection. And so that makes it a lot more challenging. We expect a noticeable noise reduction in the neighborhoods uh, once we hang the panels up. The panels are probably going to hang down about four and a half to five feet from the ceiling. You'll be able to see them, but they're not going to be very distracting. I mean, you're going to actually have to probably look for them to see them. Uh, we hope to be able to determine whether the, the panels that we hang up, up here for mitigating the reflected noise are effective or not, and whether we can consider them on future projects.